In this video, we'll be restoring a Pixel 3a to Android from Ubuntu Touch. Here you can see the Pixel 3a is running Ubuntu Touch. Now this operating system isn't for everyone, and if you've tried it and want to return to Android, the easiest way is using the Google Chrome browser. The first step is to go to Settings, then About, and select Developer Mode, and then switch it on. This will allow your computer to talk to Ubuntu Touch through ADB. After plugging in the cable, you should allow this connection. So first let's go to the developer website as seen in the description below. Make sure you're at the right area for your device, in this case Sargo. And we can choose really any of these images, the latest, but I'm going to show you using an older version just because I want to return the device back to Ubuntu Touch later. And again, as per the installation instructions, this is the version you would want if you wanted to go back to Ubuntu Touch. But again, choose the one that you want, and then we can click Flash. Allow ADB access. And so at this stage, the device should be able to be detected and send ADB commands. So this doesn't work directly from the browser, as we can see. So in order for us to flash the device, we have to get to fast boot mode. So with developer mode switched on, we can run the command ADB Reboot Bootloader, assuming you have platform tools installed. This will cause the device to go back to fast boot mode. If you don't have platform tools installed or don't like using the command line, then you can do this manually with the following instructions. For each device, there's a different way to get the device to fast boot mode. For the Pixel 3a, you completely power off the device, then you hold the volume down button, and then while holding it, press power. Even though I typed in the command, I still had to at some point press the power button to get back to fast boot mode. But once it's booted into fast boot, the browser will detect the device, then you have to select it and continue. You will see the software downloading and then eventually installing. At this point, we're just waiting for it to install. If you want to see the results, you can skip ahead.
So now that the installation is complete, the device will reboot and we will be back in Android. Here we see the device booting in Android, and you have successfully restored your Pixel 3a from Ubuntu Touch. Now the restore instructions will be different depending on your device, but they should follow a similar logic of getting the device into fast boot mode, either with commands or manually using the hardware buttons, and then using the device's restore functions. Each device company provides different ways of restoring to factory images. For the Pixel 3a, the easiest way is using the Google Chrome browser. Feel free to leave any questions below in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and if this was helpful to you, remember to like and subscribe.